Greetings, Bermuda. I wanted to spend a little bit of time speaking on the infrastructure fund. The reason why I have had so much scrutiny of this particular fund is because it was presented to us as a fund that was meant to update and repair our aging infrastructure, which is something that Bermuda sorely needs. We, I understand that it was private funds invested, but from parliamentary questions I submitted in the Senate, we have found out that the government has invested a certain amount into this fund as well. Therefore, we would like to know a bit more about what the criteria is for projects or businesses to get this funding. Now, there is nothing wrong with venture capitalism or investing in startup businesses. That's not the issue. These particular businesses though, such as a rental car license or a rental car company, are not necessarily tied to infrastructure. So it begs the question, why would the government be investing in businesses that are in direct competition with other businesses within the same sphere of operating? So if people are now working hard diligently as local entrepreneurs and scraping up what little capital they can in a country where capital is not always as available, it begs the question, who then and why would they be selected certain individuals to receive such hefty funding of 1.5 million to 10 million dollars? What local entrepreneur will be able to compete with that amount of investment in a competitor? So there is nothing wrong and we want to make this crystal clear before it gets misconstrued in any way. There is nothing wrong with investing in startups and local Bermudians. However, this infrastructure fund was set up and was described to us as a fund that was meant to fix our infrastructure, i.e. our aging schools that are in disrepair, prison, Westgate that is literally falling apart, and all manners of other infrastructure problems that we are currently having with public transportation. Why then is this 88 million that has been risen in capital investments in this fund not being dedicated to those pressing problems that are affecting everyday Bermudians? So I ask you to do your own research and keep an eye on this space because this infrastructure fund in itself seems to be operating much differently than it was previously told to us by the Premier. Thank you very much.